Greetings everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to um, show off the haul that I got. I went to Half Price Books on my way home today because I felt like a witchy shopping spree. And they sometimes have some good books and everything. So I thought, well, let's see what they have. Uh, so first off, uh, if you saw my last video, uh, you will know that I still have smoke blowing in my face from my incense that's going completely insane. Uh, my incense for today, I uh, don't know either of their names. Oops. Uh, but this one uh, says it's from Hem Products, and it's a stick incense. And I don't know what it's called, but I really like the smell of it. Um, I think my last video I said it smelled like moonlight and flowers, and it does. Uh, and then my cone incense today is just... Um, from the Renaissance Festival that I go to, and it had these big giant cones. Um, don't know what scent they are, but um, but that's what I've got going on today. So for my witchy haul, it's actually not entirely witchy, it's just sort of witchy. I kind of got a lot of stuff. But um, first thing, I got this adorable little box. Look, it's got little owls on it. And cute little owls. I love it. And this little polka dot. And isn't it cute? And then it opens up and has like this paper. It's just full of paper. Um, it's fairly thin paper. And I thought this would be great for writing down spells. And either, you know, wrapping them around candles or burning them. Or putting them in little witch bottles or something. I thought that would be a lot of fun. And then it has this little drawer that pulls out. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there. Maybe some crystals or something. So that's my little box. My little owl box. I love it. And then I was looking at the journals. Not that I need more notebooks because I really don't, but that's okay. <laughs> and the first one I saw, and you guys will understand why I had to buy this, it's the star. Only it's not actually the star. There we go. You can kind of see it better. Um, but I mean, clearly that's the star card, right? So, and it has this little magnetic kind of opening and uh, it's just lined paper on the inside. Um, because of this magnetic opening, I'm not really going to be able to um, use this for anything that I have to like paste any pictures or anything like that. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for, but I mean, just she's gorgeous and she shimmers it's kind of hard to tell but Let's see if I can yeah I love her uh, and the next one I bought is this from the same company I think it was flame tree publishing um, but it's this book and it's got like I mean just look at this you've got like a little uh, t-rex skeleton and some Egyptian stuff here and then, you know, the Mona Lisa's up here, and some armor, and the thinker, and the girl with the pearl earring, just all this lovely stuff. And then there's more in the back. There's like a Buddha and another sarcophagus. And this just reminds me so much of, oh, what's that movie? With Nicolas Cage and the Knights of the... Templar or something or other. Oh, shoot. Well, anyway, I love the movie. Not that you'd know it. <laughs> but, you know, they, they are looking for all this hidden stash of treasure and everything, and they go into this big underground section, and there's just row after row after row after row after row of stuff like, you know, a sarcophagus and just all these ancient Egyptian treasures and, you know, uh, scrolls from the Library of Alexandria and just all these, these lovely antiquities and that's what this reminded me of so I just love this so I had to buy it um, <laughs> and this one was just for fun it's this little notebook this little spiral bound notebook it's hipster kitties I love it <laughs> I love anything nerdy so of course I love the glasses and I love cats and it was like five bucks. So, yeah. And it's just lined on the inside. I don't know what I'm going to do with any of them, but 
I like them. Uh, so I'm sure I'll find something to do with them. Um, then I got this Egyptian book of living and dying. Um, I've always thought about getting one of these. Um, this isn't the actual book itself, but, um, but it just has different, you know, information about different things. Here's information about the daughters of Ra and, um, has quotations and this is the words of Thoth. So I just thought it was interesting. I have a huge collection of books on Egypt. I was quite the ancient Egypt nerd when I was a kid and I still appreciate all things Egyptian. So I'm looking forward to reading that book. And then I'm going to save this for last. It was free comic book day today because today is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, and uh, so I actually went to two different half price books. So I got two different comic books. Random just Spider-Man comic book that I know nothing about. But the other one actually let you pick through their box to pick. The Spider-Man was just given to me. Um, so I got one I actually wanted. Um, it's a Serenity comic book. And uh, it's not one I have. And it's a one-shot. So I'm excited to read that one. Interestingly enough, Patton Oswalt wrote it. And he was just in Cincinnati um, doing a show. So I missed out on that. And then I wasn't going to get a deck. Really wasn't. But I went and they had several different ones there. And I saw this one. The Steampunk Tarot. Oh, that's glary. Um, now here's the thing with this deck. Um, the Steampunk Tarot I have seen other people who have the deck, and I'm not really a ste steampunk person. I'm not a, a, I'm more of a fantasy kind of person, but um, I have seen images of the deck, and I, I liked it. It was pretty, so I thought, you know, it's on my Amazon list. I thought maybe I'll get it. We'll see. I've never really watched a full walkthrough or anything like that. Um, however... I did not realize there is more than one steampunk tarot. So I saw this one. It was eight bucks, which I know is a really good price for the steampunk tarot. So I bought it and I brought it home. My phone was not cooperating. So usually when I find stuff like this at half price books, I'll look it up and see on Amazon just to see how much it is to see if it's actually any cheaper. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. A lot of times it is, but not all the time. Um, but my phone was not cooperating, so I couldn't look it up, but I'm like eight bucks. It's got to be more expensive than eight bucks, right? So I looked it up and realized there's like three steampunk tarots, and this is not the one I was thinking it was, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, it's an $8 deck. The pictures on the back looked kind of interesting. I mean, I'll flip through it and I don't know. We'll see. Worst comes to worst, I trade it, but there it is. Steampunk tarot by... John and Caitlin Matthews. Um, it's all glary. Uh, I'm going to do another video for a walkthrough with that. So, yeah, that's my haul. A uh, bunch of notebooks, Egyptian book of living and dying, and a cute little owl spell paper box. So, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.